Dear friends, let's start straight away with the basics. Irshad uses the locking grip. If you see my very first video on YouTube wherein I have explained briefly about a few popular grips, you will observe that Irshad uses the very first type of the locking grip. That is, he locks his striking finger, which is the index finger, with his thumb and the little finger. In the carom world, this grip is called as the full locking grip. Well, I avoided using jargons in my first video because I wanted maximum people to at least understand the basics. But from now on, I can use some. With his grip, Irshad increases or decreases the power depending upon the shot in question. I have rarely seen him fumble on a cut even when it happened to be the finishing shot. Treat your eyes with this beautiful cut that will connect two coins at the same time, a true testimony to his complex mastery over power. With power comes responsibility. Well, it's true in Karam too. Observe how Virshad pockets the black coin close to the frame while controlling his striker just enough to release two other black coins. Next is a glance and last, a basic connection which leaves the coin on the correct side of the frame. Simple yet important. Well, power and control will serve no purpose if you don't have accuracy in your game. In this shot, Irshad is only able to tunnel the white coin through two other black coins by aiming the pocket frame and not the exact center of the pocket. Brilliant, isn't it? As a true carom lover, I can go on and on. But to be honest, when I see Irshad's grip in action, it feels like a swan performing his ballet routine in the lake. Just spectacular. In my earlier video, I explained how Nishant Fernando, another carom champion, might have combined his physical attribute with his carom intelligence to develop a unique natural grip. Well, in Nishant's case, you can say that his slender hand and long fingers allow him to naturally exercise the full locking grip. If you check my very first video, I've explained why anyone can't just blindly copy this efficient grip. For example, if I try to do this, I really surely bend my index finger to lock it with my little finger. So, you know, I will not be enjoying carom if I continue to do this. Worse, I can even develop some kind of deny to something, you know, and uh, trouble myself physically. The very first aspect of Irshad's game that you need to understand that his, his, his long finger allows him to naturally increase the lapse in time for which his index finger is in contact with the striker, giving him loads of power and control. Okay. Also, his flexible little finger allows him a lot of room to move his index finger actually. The second aspect of Rishad's game that needs a mention is his ability to get his body behind every shot very beautifully. You know, he's very tall. And that's the reason why he needs to place his chair a little away from the carom board than usual. Third, all good things present at least a minor drawback. If you know tennis or football or sprinting, you might also know how taller people struggle to maintain their longevity in the game. Same applies to Irshad's slender hand and long fingers. One has to take utmost care to maintain such a God's gift and wish Irshad the best. If the Usain Bolt or the Cristiano Ronaldo or the Novak Djokovic of this world can prove everyone wrong, 
سوکن شاد تھینک